Then I did it for 82 hours. Whew. What a night it has been. My little like Caribbean twist on the butternut squash soup. Day, beautiful people I thought I would come by after doing my morning meditation and yoga happy 1st of February today is the 1st of February and we're off to a good start February is all about self-discipline and starting this month I kind of wrote down a rising ritual that I want to adhere to even down to the nitty-gritty like simple things <laughs> just for the rising ritual um, so when I wake up in the morning, I will first go to the toilet, drink some water, meditate, move, read, journal, day, review, shower, and start the day. So every morning when I wake up, I go to the toilet because I am a person that really dislikes going to the toilet in the nighttime. So even if I have to go, I always tell myself that I will only go when I actually wake up in the morning. When I'm going to the toilet, I'm up for the day. So yeah that's that's why i wrote that down and then drink water because drinking water is one of the most important things to do as soon as you wake up to just moisturize and nourish your body again and i chose to meditate as, as soon as i wake up because i realized that the mind is very in that sleepy state and it's a beautiful time just to really set the tone to the day so meditate then move i'm either going to do yoga jump rope some light exercising at home and then read. After I read, I'll journal, do my day review, see exactly what I need to do when I make my list in my journal or if I have it written out somewhere else, then shower and start the day. So this is what my rising ritual is going to be. And now that I wrote it and I have started my day, I feel very happy and content. It's a new month and I finished Consciousness Creates Peace on Wednesday, like I did mention in one of my previous vlogs. So I'm so thankful that I got to finish that book. And now we have a new book. This one is called Invincible Living by Guru Jagat. Yeah, Guru Jagat. And it's about the power of yoga, energy of breath, and other tools for a radiant life. I saw this book shared on someone's Instagram and I thought I had to get it because I've really been into yoga for the last few years. I think I started doing it in 2020. And I just want to learn more about it, learn more about the poses, learn more about doing it because I do do it and I'm not too hard on myself now. I think you should never be too hard on yourself now about the poses and making sure that you do it 100% well. I kind of was in the beginning like, why am I so thin and I can't do it properly? But that's not what yoga is about. Um, I also realized that there's different parts of my body that I actually store and have stored my trauma and my feelings, yeah, tenseness in my body. So that's why I just can't do some things. But as I'm healing, as I'm discovering more about myself, I will allow that energy to flow. 
so I thought it would be really good to get this book to just go more into understanding yoga and breath and see what she has to say. Actually, I'm going to use the book like this because I feel like this one is just paper and it's not as convenient. But yeah, we're going to start this book today. If you want to see what the inside looks like. Oh, and it also got me because the inside is quite beautiful and nice. Let's see what the context is. I know if you're like a bookworm like me or someone that likes books, <laughs> you would appreciate seeing the insides. <laughs> Kundalini yoga is for everyone, you and your body, endless beauty, ancient techniques for self-love, fully stress-free, balanced emotions, the mind, sweet relations, sex and science, prosperity, creativity, quantum destiny. Oh yeah, so that's all of the contents of this book. And as you can see, it's having color and diagrams and I believe it goes into the chakras and a lot of beautiful things. I am so excited to read this and to go more into detail. Oh, that's something I actually want to start doing too. I think I'm going to start doing this in the middle of February, fire breath. Fire breaths are really good for you to get your energy moving and to increase your vibration. So great, I could see that there. We're going to start this book today and see how far we get, maybe up to you and your body, but I'll see how far I get because it's now 7.26 and it's so dark outside. I don't know if you could see, but look, like it's so dark. So it's, yeah, I struggle waking up in the morning sometimes because it's so dark and it actually is just quite chilly or cold. I shouldn't say chilly, it's cold. <laughs> but I'm here with my workout clothes on now because my heart rate moved a bit and I feel ready. So I went to the shop real quick because I needed to get some oranges. I want to start my fast today on, or I don't know if I told you already, but I'm fasting today. I'm starting a fast today on the 1st of February. I'll talk about it a bit more, but I wanted to get some oranges so I can eat this as my last meal for breakfast to give me energy and the vitamins to start a fast. And I do need to work, but I also wanted to show you, I'm clocking in while I'm preparing the oranges real quick. But I love listening to these motivational videos on YouTube just to get me going to really see and to put my, or to start my day on the right foot. I have a lot of them that just like pop up. This is the first time I'm listening to this one, which is about courage. And it's really good to listen to in the morning or when you just need that boost of energy to really realize that you can do whatever. If you put on like a podcast or a video on YouTube that motivates you it will really <clears throat> my voice going it will really help it really does help to motivate me and to give me the extra energy that i need to power through my day what i'm going to do now is it's now 9 5 i'm starting to work now and i'm going to have oranges that i cut up and you saw finish these before 9 30 so that I can start my fast at 9.30. I'm now on break. And I thought I would come by while I, oh, because I had the pot. I was like, why is the couch so hot in that one spot? But it's because I had the pot of tea I'm making there for a bit. And here we have some jasmine tea that we're going to let steep. So you can have to get some nutrients and vitamins. I'm fasting again. I'm fasting now. I think this is my third time, like intentionally fasting. And this time that I'm doing the water fast, I'm doing it because I would like to put some balance back into my body and also for self-discipline. So last month I started doing the journey back to self and every month is being focused on a way in which we can focus on the journey back to self. And for me, February is all on self-discipline.
So I'm now back home after going out to do my eyebrows and I have story time <laughs> uh, because last night was one long night but I'm preparing again to start eating a lot more clean and a lot more vegetables because I get really stuck in the morning. I don't know if you do as well, but I get stuck on options to eat in the morning and I forgot about oats, like oats with uh, oat milk is good. It's perfect that I don't consume during the break for like breakfast time. Or let's say if I do a smoothie bowl with these and put some fresh fruits in it. And even maybe like these, things just to give it that crunch because that's one thing I realized in my last detox that I am sort of addicted and love to hear the crunchy sound. I also got this to try it out. It was a bit pricey but it's 0% sugar added and it has granola, coconut and cacao nibs with flax seeds, sunflower and pumpkin seeds so I thought that looked really good to try out. Broccoli to hopefully do tomorrow, salt because my salt is out. Avocados I got, um, like again, my favorite bagels <laughs> from Albert Hang. I stocked up and I got two, so I can have that in home. And this actually has dairy in it, but it is a yogurt that has fermented. So it has those living things inside of it. That's really good probiotics for your body. I did use this when I was having some... BV issues a few years ago and it really helped and it's very tasty a bit on the pricey side as well so that's my little shop haul and I'm going to put these away and come back and tell you exactly how I feel <laughs> hi let me get cozy and take off these glasses these are my blue light glasses for on like computers and stuff to protect my eyes I had to come in and give you an update from when I got home, but I put away the things and then I just relaxed for a bit and then took a walk before starting my shift at one. And I'm halfway into my shift, almost, yeah, halfway into my shift, not almost done with work, halfway done with work, if that's a thing. Still fasting, still fasting. I wanted to come by and talk about like why I'm fasting and what I feel like so far, because I did explain and talk about fasting in a previous video when I did it last year for the first time. Then I did it for 82 hours and I, I did talk about it in that video, like how I felt, but I just thought it would be nice to vlog and just literally tell you on the days how I'm feeling and what I am doing differently this time maybe. And yeah, how I feel. And what's really nice is I actually have this app it's called Life. I'm going to just show it to you. It's this app. I hope you can see it well. This one. That app. And inside of this app, you can actually start your fast and track your fasts. And what you can do is, what I did is put in that I want to fast for 48 hours. Um, and you can see so far all the things that I've done and the like accomplishments I've made. And in the app as well, yeah, you can see the time that you started and your target that you have and I currently am 31 hours and 5 minutes into my fast so I just have a short time to go which is really nice because tomorrow morning at 9.30 so 9.28 I will break my fast with my first thing that I'm going to consume and in the app what I find so cool is, is that you can see different things of like ah okay so one of my things that I accomplished during this fast already is the ketosis. Your body's starting to break down and burn fat. I can't see the exact time, but in the app, it's very cool because you can, of course, click onto those things and it tells you more details about the fasting. Even if you want to do, I guess, like a five hour fast or a few fast, intermittent fasting as well, this app would be really handy and really cool to just have your fast data into an app. I know some people might be a bit funny about them tracking you and tracking what you're doing but for me I'm okay with it I think <laughs> and I find the app quite handy and helpful I actually found the app from someone that is famous and used it and I thought why not give it a try and I'm actually really enjoying it so far especially I can see where I started and what my target was that I find really nice so if you want to use that app 
The app on the iPhone is called Life. So I'm assuming if you just type in Life into the App Store, you'll be able to find that to put on your phone if you would like to also fast. And currently I'm feeling really good. Again, this time what I realized, so let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday when I started the fast, I started with oranges in the morning and I thought I would give myself some vitamins and eat something that's a fruit so my stomach can just, you know, have that to digest and clear out. And I think it was a good idea. Yeah, it was a good idea. But maybe because of the acid in my stomach, it might not have been a good one, I guess. But for me so far, my stomach feels fine. I don't have any weird feelings or any reactions from that yesterday. Yesterday I felt okay. At one point I felt a bit peckish and a bit hungry. And then in the night before going to bed, I felt really, I felt like that kind of feeling of withdrawal, I guess, of like feeling like you want something and you're not having it and you start to like get annoyed. You're, yeah, you get annoyed. I kind of had that feeling yesterday, but yeah, after it went away, no, it got worse in the night, I think. Yeah, it got worse in the night. I felt a bit like annoyed. And then while I was sleeping, while I was sleeping, I felt really terrible. Like I was just thinking, I can just go and eat something. I don't have to do this. Like, why am I doing this fast? I don't have to like, I can just go and eat something. I felt like <laughs> annoyed and I could not sleep the full night. I kept on like waking up at different times. And at one point as well, my body got really hot because I had a robe on. Normally I sleep TMI naked completely, but I had a robe on for some reason and I felt really hot at one point. So yeah. I woke up and like one of my covers was off of me and yeah, but then I started to get cold after. Well, not cold, I felt fine. But anyway, sleeping last night on the first night was a bit hard, was very withdrawal-y and I feel like when, so that's the reason why I also do fast, to like really purge my body and get rid of all toxins, all negative thoughts, to really clear my energy. That's why I do fasting. And to also create that discipline. That's why this fast was uh, all themed around. But yeah, it takes a lot to actually do it. Because I was also thinking, you know, people can lie about doing fast and, and just say, yeah, I did like a, I don't know, whatever day fast and it went good and all the time you're eating something or drinking. But yeah, I'm very honest in that sense to myself. And I wouldn't feel good if I would lie. So I decided like, no, I'm doing this to give myself discipline, to also discipline myself. So I'm going to continue doing it. And it's my choice. I feel good by doing it and I'm doing it for me. So yeah, we are in the fast, almost done. Just a few more hours, which is nice. And I actually feel good. Work hasn't been like annoying me because that's also one thing that I realized and one of the reasons why I wanted to fast because I get very annoyed and when I'm annoyed or when I'm talking to someone or when I'm like behind the computer especially, I feel like I need to eat something and I don't want to always feel that way. I want to eat like at the morning when I wake up for breakfast, have a fruit, have a lunch, have a snack. A healthy snack and then have dinner and then not eat anymore because I don't want to continuously be eating things that's not good um, yeah I am small I am thin but yeah this is just a goal of mine to be healthy to also help my gut to rest and to enjoy everything in life and this is one of the ways that I find suitable to actually enjoying a long life fasting has a lot of benefits I'm going to put up again here an infographic of what I made actually when I first did fasting and I stand behind all of them and it's amazing to see that I put on it also self-development or not development self-discipline and that's exactly what I'm doing this month this year uh, journeying through being self-disciplined and also doing this fast again so that's really nice to see I am doing the fast so I can kind of also repent and remove and release all energies and all things that are not for me and I think that it's a beautiful time now to do that as well so that's why I'm doing it and I'm really happy with how I feel 
I'm happy with the strength that I have, with the discipline I have, that I am, I am actually able to stand up for what I believe and to do things that I think are suitable for me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow eating. I'm not looking forward to going to bed tonight <sighs> because it's a weird feeling. You kind of want to be up, but you don't want to be up and you're not going to be productive because you're kind of annoyed. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, but today so far I feel fine. I went out and I got my eyebrows threaded, as you can see. They got cut a little, but the shape is beautiful, so I can always do my makeup nicely. And I took a walk. I went to the city. Oh, I didn't go to get my contact lens solution. I just remembered. I don't have any. I have to go tomorrow in my break because it's too late now um yeah <laughs> that just popped up in my head randomly but i feel good i went out got fresh air and that's one thing that i realized being busy and having fresh air is helping me in my fasting journey so we're going to end here today we're going to end today here and maybe if i wake up in the night i might talk about how i feel just so you can also hear in the moment how i feel Oh, another thing that happens as well is that I can feel everything in my body. It's such a weird feeling. I feel everything like moving and, and beating and it might sound strange to people that think it's like, ooh, but I feel everything. My heart especially, I feel tremendously. You know, you walk on every day and you just don't think about your heart until you really like put your hand on your chest and you try to feel it. But I felt it. You feel it like just by being, especially when I was in bed last night. Anyway, again, I am not a medical person. And if you want to fast, you should do it on your own terms and listen to your own body. And that's what I'm doing. I'm listening to myself. I'm also balancing my energy to be able to do this. So if you want to do this as well, I would definitely say to listen to yourself, do the things that feel right to you. And if it doesn't find, if it does intrigue you and you would like to look into fasting, listen to your body and maybe check that app out because I really am enjoying it so far. And for this fast, I haven't drank any um, alkaline water because it's quite expensive here in Holland and to get it shipped is also another fee, so I didn't do that. But I did Barley Duke because this has a quite of a higher pH, which is really good compared to normal water. And yeah, I also drank tea. I had hibiscus tea and a jasmine tea that I made from like fresh uh, dried herbs so that was nice and for now I'm just going to have tea again I think and tonight I probably won't drink any tea because I, f I don't know if the tea made me feel like that but I'll just do the water and then I should be fine so yeah I'll get back to you later if there's any updates Whew, what a night it has been but we're not going to talk a lot now because I can break my fast and I just wanted to show you the time. I feel very tired and I am ready to eat. It is now, can you see, 48 hours and 10 minutes and 38 seconds. And I am now going to break my fast. Oof. Let's end the fast when it's like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I broke it like that. It's two days and 11 minutes. My number 11. Wow. Yes, end fast. Thankful to be drinking the celery juice. I'm going to drink this. This is also what I drank the first time I broke my fast. So we're gonna have this now for the first thing that has flavor and is going to set my stomach back and my gut into being healthy. Celery juice tastes okay. If you would add some green, Apple in it, it would taste really good. I also have here 
Three oranges I cut up already into small bits so I can eat. Just going to wait a few seconds after finishing the celery juice. And that should go on Instagram because I also took this year what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm taking one day every week off of social media and that day was yesterday. That's what I've been doing since the year started. The years started. I think it's good because it allows me to just not be on social media, not be connected because we get so connected. And I also go on to Instagram just when I'm bored and I'm really trying not to do that. It's another form of self-discipline that I'm practicing. Hello. I actually just wanted to check in and see that I'm feeling great. I had the celery juice and then the three oranges, which were really good. Gave me some energy. I went outside to get my lens solution that I forgot I needed to get. And I'm home and I'm working. I'm working a bit of a later shift. I started at 10.30 and I'll finish today at 7. Yeah, at 7. And now I'm going to go into phones, but I made myself a smoothie and oh my god, this is so good. So what we're going to make is these butternut squash. We'll go into the oven. So I'm working in back on the phones, but I'm feeling a little peckish, so I just put in a bowl some of that yogurt that had the probiotics in it, blueberry, I just chopped up a few handful, and then a little bit of granola to see how that will feel on my stomach, just to settle it and to be filled. So I needed to film this on my phone so you can see all the flavor and all the beauty in this soup I just made. I made a butternut, butternut squash soup with so much flavor. It smells so good. Uh, I think I'm going to make a video on how I actually make this. I think it's quite great to share my little like Caribbean twist on the butternut squash soup. And what I did is I roasted some broccoli along with some sweet potatoes that I have in the soup. I put it not in the soup itself, but I put it to the side when I roasted them and then just put them into the soup into my bowl. And then I put on the side for some creaminess, avocado, coriander, sunflower, sunflower seeds? Yeah, I think it's called sunflower seeds. And I put coriander, as I mentioned, and it has so much flavor that you can see the herbs and the creaminess. Oh, I also put coconut milk in it, but I'm going to share a video on how I make this, but I'm going to enjoy this as my first big meal, my first dinner after fasting, and I'm so excited because the house smells literally divine. Like it has a beautiful herbal, garlicky onion smell so i'm really going to enjoy this soup <laughs> 